Everyone knows that closed lupin is the future of diabetes tech for those on insulin pumps. I've been closed lupin for more than two years and it is truly life changing. So in this video, I am breaking down all 10 commercial hybrid closed loop systems. Some of them already commercially available and some of them in the pipeline. So sit down, grab a drink and let's go with it. Hi, it's Camille, your diabetes tech guy. And I wanted to start today's video with this which is arguably the only productive thing I have done during the national lockdown. <laughs> um, I've designed this um, hybrid closed loops diagram. You can see this in 4K on Twitter if you are interested in checking it out. You will see this throughout this video because I will be pointing out to it. Um, and it shows which CGMs work with which closed loop systems and which pumps and it kind of, I, I hope it's a really, people on Twitter seem to love it, so I think it looks quite nice. And I'm very proud of it, it took me like weeks to do this, but it was worth it because I had nothing else to do because, you know, we're staying home. So let's dive right into it. First hybrid closed loop system from Diveloop. It's called DBLG1. And as you can see on the diagram, it holds the title for having the highest amount of insulin pump partners. It is the most inoperable when it comes to um, insulin pumps. As you can see, there are four partners. Now, actually there are now five partners because they just announced a partner for the US launch. And um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this one because um, a couple of weeks ago, I published an incredibly in-depth interview with Diabolube CEO, which you can watch here. The target glucose is between 100 and 180 and is fully customizable. Um, it works with Dexcom G6 and as Eric revealed in the interview with Dexcom G7 when it launches in Europe as well. Uh, the main thing about this particular closed loop is the personalization. Um, for example, if there's trend going towards the summer, where many people need slightly less insulin during the summer. At some point of time, if it trends differently because of summer, because of you change your eating habits, you change, you started going to the gym three times per week, um, yeah. things like that. <laughs> the the then, January trend, is this what you call the January trend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got you. That's yeah. gonna start, start to adjust. This French hybrid closed loop system is currently in pre-launch in France and it's launching in Europe later this year, initially with the Kaleido patch pump, and then after that with the Dana I insulin pump, and after that with some pumps from Roche's insulin pump family. Um, after Europe, they will also be launching the um, DBLG1 system in Japan and in the US. Second hybrid closed loop system is from Lily Diabetes Care, the insulin manufacturer, Lily. So we recently learned that that system will work with the existing uh, MyLife uh, pump from Yopsomet, the, the, the touchscreen pump made in Switzerland. Now, unfortunately, this closed loop will only work with Lily's insulin, so you will not be able to use other insulins with it. Um, and I really hope Lily will reconsider this before they actually do commercially launch the system. It's from what I understand, it's in very early stages of development, so I would not expect it to be on the market for at least a couple of years. Lily is launching an actual product soon with their connected pen. And um, speaking of that, I am actually in the process of making a similar diagram to this, but for um, smart pens and what the integration looks like in that space, which is so difficult. So if you are interested in connected pens, smart pens and all of those things, make sure you are subscribed so you see that when that is out. Now, quick side note, Lily's closed loop system was actually supposed to work with their own insulin pump that they were developing in Cambridge, but they stopped doing it. Speaking of Cambridge, let's talk about Cambridge APS closed loop system. That was a smooth transition. That was so smooth. I'm not gonna lie to you, the only reason, the only reason I've put Lily next to um, K, um, CAM APS is just so I can do this transition. <laughs> also, FYI, they have nothing to do with each other because the Cambridge for Lily is the US Cambridge and Cambridge for CAM APS is the UK Cambridge. Um, but, you know, towns have the same names, especially for, you know, UK and US because, you know, our history is very closely linked. 
<laughs> you can you can find out more <laughs> by googling history. <laughs> so third closed loop system is Cam APS based on years of research done by Dr. Roman Havoka. It works with Dana I insulin pump and Dana RS insulin pump and Dexcom G6. It's been available here in the UK for a while with great feedback from users. It has a customizable target glucose which you can set anywhere between 4.4 and 11. And most importantly, it is an app. So from all these closed loop systems that I'm talking through today, this is the only commercially available system today that is already out there, which is just an app on your phone. And so um, it runs on Android, so it doesn't work on iPhone. So it's an Android app um, and it connects to the Dexcom G6 and the Dana Pump and you can use it off your phone and it runs in the background. So you can obviously bolus from your phone and you can do all of those things. This closed loop from Cambridge also has similar personalization features that I discussed for Diberloop. So it kind of learns um, your um, physiology and lifestyle and adapts settings over time. Next up, Control IQ by Dexcom. It works on the T-Slim X2 insulin pump and uh, it connects with Dexcom G6. Control IQ will also work with Tandem's upcoming T-Sport patch insulin pump. If you want to learn more about that insulin pump, I've done a video about it quite recently so you can see it up here as well. Uh, Control IQ has uh, a target glucose of 110 milligrams per deciliter and that is currently not customizable. As you can see, Tandem's Control IQ currently works with Dexcom G6, but Tandem has an existing partnership to integrate the Freestyle Libre into Tandem's Control IQ. Now, I should make it's very, very clear that Freestyle Libre integration for Control IQ is something that's not going to come relatively fast. This is more likely to be like a 2022, maybe 2023 thing. I honestly don't see it coming in this year, uh, but it's incredibly exciting that um, we will have a choice on the CGM front. Number five is My Life Loop by Yopsomed. Swiss pump Yopsomed has been available for a long time in many regions globally. They are now working on their own My Life. First step on their pipeline is the My Life Assist, which will integrate Dexcom G6 into their app, and that is expected any day now. Second step is My Life Dose, which will allow phone pump control. And then the third step is My Life Loop, which is the hybrid closed loop system that we are discussing today. Um, the actual um, algorithm, the actual system will be very similar to today's Control IQ uh, because the underlying technology is the same. It's made by Type 0 by Dexcom, so it'll be quite enough similar um, when it comes to deciding you know, how much extra insulin to give, how much um, uh, to reduce an insulin delivery by, when to give a correction bolus, so on and so forth. The main difference would obviously be the actual insulin pump, it, pump itself. So that's coming up on the horizon. Speaking of horizon, let's talk about Omnipod Horizon. Omnipod 5, um, expected to be launched any minute now, uh, first quarter of 2021. The biggest difference of uh, the Omnipod 5 system is that the algorithm, the actual brain behind the system, the middle bit of my diagram, actually is on the pod itself. So um, that, that is very different to um, other systems where the algorithm is, is housed on a phone or a separate controller. Here the algorithm lives on the pod and so the pod connects directly with the Dexcom G6 sensor and you do not need any device around you to stay in hybrid closed loop. Omnipod 5 will be controlled using Omnipod's PDM. Um, it's a top screen PDM, very similar to what we currently have Omnipod Dash. Now, we've recently learned about a cool difference between uh, Dash's current PDM and the PDM that will ship with Omnipod 5. And the difference is that Omnipod 5 will have a built-in SIM tray. It will have a SIM built-in for cellular connectivity. So it will connect with the internet just like your phone does. 
And this will enable real-time sharing of glucose and insulin data with parents and caregivers. No matter where you are, as long as you have signal, the data will be shared with carers and um, parents, etc. The Omnipod 5 system will also be controlled by selected Samsung phones. This includes Bolison, so if you do not want to use the PDM, you will be at actually able to use your phone. Uh, it will work with selected Samsung phones or, uh, at launch, and then um, um, more phones, and then eventually iPhone will also be added to um, phone control. Now, if you want to control your Omnipod with your iPhone, there is also tight pull loop, which is closed loop system number seven, currently under FDA review. Launch timelines are unknown, and they have taken DIY loop, uh, which is an app on your iPhone that connects with insulin pumps and CGMs, that I'm actually using it, um, and they've taken that and modified it and are currently trying to get it approved by the FDA so they can ship it commercially with um, their CGM and pump partners. And as you can see from the graph, they have two pump partners and two CGM partners. So at launch, they will launch with um, Dexcom G6 and Omnipod. Now, after that, they've already signed a partnership with Medtronic. So you'll be able to use a Medtronic pump and a Medtronic CGM with their system. And the idea is that it's inoperable, like uh, Diberloop, for example, or other inoperable systems, where you can mix and match those systems. So you'll be able to use, for example, a Medtronic pump with a Dexcom CGM or uh, an Omnipod with a Medtronic CGM. You know, you can mix and match uh, as you wish. They've also publicly said that they have two unnamed industry partners that uh, have signed up to Tide Pull Loop and they have not been revealed as a film in this video. Um, so the message is that we will soon be adding two uh, lines to Tide Pull Loop. The app itself will be heavily based on obviously DIY Loop because that's the whole point. If you want to learn more about Tide Pull Loop and kind of what they are working on and maybe even donate to that project, uh, I'll put links in the video description. By the way, links to all of these things will be in the video description if you want to find out more. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what the DIY version looks like and the Tide Pull Loop will look very similar. Close-up system number eight. Bigfoot Autonomy by Bigfoot by Medical. We don't know a lot about Bigfoot um, as with the real Bigfoot and just like with the actual Bigfoot, no one has seen it. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's a, I would say multiple years from actually being commercially available. Um, now this year in 2021, they will be launching a pen product a, a, a dig digital connected pen, uh, which will work with Libre, but more about that in my smart pen video. What we do know about the system itself is that it will work with Freestyle Libre and their own insulin pump. Close up system number nine, Beta Bionics. Now this system is unique because it has two tubes, because it delivers two medications. So it delivers insulin, just like all the other ones, but also delivers glucagon which is very unique. Um, so uh, it, when a glucose drops below a certain point, it can actually you know, give you glucagon to avoid uh, going into hypoglycemia, um, which is incredibly interesting. Um, the system itself will work with a Dexcom, with a Dexcom CGM, and possibly with an Eversense implantable CGM, and they will ship this uh, pump um, with just insulin at some point in relatively near future, so maybe 2021, 2022, and then uh, around 18 months after that they will add the um, um, glucagon um, functionality and where it will be a dual system. The system also has personalization where it learns your lifestyle just like I mentioned with um, other systems. Last but certainly not least, Medtronic, makers of the first ever hybrid closed loop system, the 670G, and their most current hybrid closed loop is a 780G, um, uh, which has been rolled out across Europe already and it will be coming to the US uh, with a software update to 770 in the coming months. 
7HG has a customizable target glucose between 5.5 and 6.7 and it has correction boluses. If you want to learn more about Medtronic 670G, 770G and 780G and what the differences are etc. I've done a video about uh, Medtronic's pumps. Uh, uh, you can uh, watch it here. So that's that. That was 10 hybrid closed loop systems. Some are already commercially available, some are in a pipeline. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of them. Um, the ones that are commercially available today, uh, let me know how you find them. I would love to hear from you. And I'm sure others in the comments would do as well. And so thanks so much for watching. Um, if you are new here, make sure you are subscribed if you are interested in diabetes tech and these kinds of videos. Um, and uh, I will see you in the next one. So stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you again shortly. Peace out.